Welcome to my channel. Okay, so next one. What are we going to do? Next clock. This one. So this was my favourite one. Um, absolutely brilliant. I saw a video, or yeah, I saw a video on YouTube of of, of a um, of a Nixie clock built like this that ran off the mains voltage, and I thought, wow, that's amazing. Um, I don't know if it ran off mains voltage. The 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 imp it was implied basically that it was running off mains voltage. Um, now with this one, I haven't run it off mains voltage. This one doesn't actually work. Um, unfortunately, it got dropped and i know exactly what happened to it it got dropped and when it when i went to pick it up <laughs> it sounds funny this i was i was walking with my plate back to the kitchen i knocked the clock off and i went to pick it up and as i picked it up the fork fell off the plate and just the teeth went straight into here and this is the high voltage converter here what a mess that is look at that eh? um it looks great though i think i think it looks bloody brilliant um, I think this kind of design for the new uh, for the Nixie clock um, really, really um, incentricates the um, the style of the actual Nixies themselves. Um, it's, it rings as well, so it chimes the hour. Uh, well, it doesn't anymore. Um, but yeah, so it doesn't work. Real shame. Um, I think it can easily be fixed. I, I don't see any reason why. In fact, let's try plugging it in. It's been years. It's been years. It's been it. Yeah, that's been years. It's been two, two and a half years since since I broke this. So let's see if it does actually power up. Yeah. So that's really strange. It didn't used to power up. One zero zero. zero. Oh my God, it's working. Um, I don't know why, because it shouldn't be, but it is. Look at that. Oh wow, that's made my day. That has that has made my day like you would not believe. So, oh, a little bit of flickering then. Right, that, that's absolutely marvellous. Right, this is going back on the side again now. So, let's talk you through it. So, you can see here, um, you've got all the parts exposed. Now, it's not actually as dangerous as you might think. It's only running off 12 volts. The voltage that comes out, let's actually measure it. Um, so, let's get the cheapy cheap multimeter out. Uh, it's cheap, but it works really well. I wouldn't knock it. I don't know if I'd like to, I only use it for DC stuff. I wouldn't like to mess around with the with the mains with it. Uh, how isolated it is. Right, so let's have a look. E grounds the frame. And then the live's going to be going to the... Oh, it's on this diode, I'm pretty sure. Uh, 100, oh, 2. Come on, there you go, 139 volts. You can actually tweak the voltage on there. I think I got it to about 250, but it gets really, really hot. Um, so yeah, that's the voltage that runs through it. Now, you can see, um, let's try and find something um, non-conductive. Oh, God, oh, so that I don't electrocute myself. Uh, uh, yeah. <sighs> Here we go. I'll use this pencil and I'll wait for someone to say, oh, the, the graphite in it's conductive. Oh, there you go. That shut you up. It's got no tip on it now. So the only actual bits on it, the frame's ground. Um, now, the only actual bits on it that are, that are that are high voltage is this output here coming off this inductor. So it goes down here onto this diode um, and then the diode goes straight down into that one there which is like the um oh the anode or the cathode i can't bloody remember now um so it goes straight down someone will correct me again i'm no electrician i'm no electronic designer i've got I, I'm, I'm very ignorant of it um i just read guides on the internet so anyway forgive that that point about me um so this whole bit here is the um is the high voltage part the chips here um and then you can see here we've got a little pot and all that does that does nothing at all apart from control the led which conveniently it's almost like i mean these are old old stock these um nixie mounts it's almost like they were invented to have that led go through it they probably were there was probably um, a, a different one probably some kind of um oh what do you call them oh what do you call them neon uh neon um bulb 
in there or something to illuminate it. I don't know. But either way, it fits in there perfectly. Um, you can see here, there's a little button and that's to set the time. Um, obviously, all the resistors coming off the, um, off the output and then down to a transistor, um, which triggers the, um, the voltage to be allowed out, which then goes to ground and um, illuminates the Nixie. I think, please correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not professing to be an expert. Um, on the input, so it's got 12 volts coming in um, from a power input thing. Um, and then it gets regulated down to 5 volts. Um, a little smoothing capacitor there. Um, and then that goes into the chip and powers the chip. So that one will power the chip and the LED. So if we turn the LED on, let's see if we can get it to chime, because this one chimes as well. So there is an out on the um, on the chip to chime it. So uh, what are we on? Oh, 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 oh. One, oh, oh, oh. Ah, <laughs> that's what's wrong with it. The pick's gone. Look, one, zero. Try and change it to one. So one, zero, one, zero. One, uh, uh, what's going on? Let's see. One, zero, one, zero. I don't think it's counting. There might be something wrong with the actual um, crystal. It's been on for a while now and it should have counted up some time. Let's try setting it to 59. 1, 0, 50, or an upside down 2. 1, 0, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right. Let's have a look. 1, 0, 5, 9. Which, yeah. Right, we're going to have to wait a minute anyway to see if it see if it, ch if it chimes so the chime as with my other videos if you've watched them all in a chain you get fed up with me saying this now um the chime actually runs off a um off a relay so what i've done is i've got a five volt relay um i've ripped the shell off it so it's, it fits in with all the other things and then um, the actual oh i don't know someone will correct me the clapper <laughs> the part that comes down so when it when it gets um Oh, God, I can't think of any of the words. When it gets the charge in it, anyway, um, it pulls down. It creates a magnetic field, I think, here. And then that pulls down the actual bit here, which should then close the contacts to allow the voltage through of the other thing, of, of whatever it's supposed to be turning on. I know that's the worst description ever of a relay. Makes sense to me in my mind, and I'm sure the majority of you are going to know how they work anyway and, and be more than happy to, to correct me. Um, as that goes down, you can see there's a little arm that comes off it here. And on the end of it, there's a tiny little bolt, little brass bolt that's been soldered to it. So you can see it rings. So let's see, did it count up and passed? I don't know if it's been a minute yet. Oh, it's not working, look. It's not working. What's happened? Oh, it's the connection that's loose, that's why. Right, I'm not going to bore you by keeping you here for any longer. Um, but you get the idea. It does chime as well. Um, I'm actually having to, I've got the wrong size barrel plug here. So you can see I've sort of temporarily um, painters taped a thing on there. Not even electrician's tape, just whatever's to hand. But you get the idea. Uh, watch your other videos if you want to see one chime. Because there was one, another one that I've managed to get to chime. They are finicky. And very, very fiddly to get to chime. But there we go. Yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Like the video if you liked it. Don't like it if you don't. Put some comments and uh yeah have a look at my other videos because um i'm sort of trying to catch up and um get a lot of the stuff i do put on youtube because i used to put it on forums and stuff but that's so tiresome it's easier just to do a quick video and put it on youtube so yeah there we go make sure you check out the other ones because all sorts of different clocks i'm doing at the moment and then uh, yeah there is the uh the fabled uh diy nixie watch um so yeah make sure you watch the other ones and come back for the nixie watch because that's a really good little project i've done there anyway Thanks very much. Subscribe. Cheers. Bye.